Damon, unfortunately this afternoon, not going to be a great one to get out there and take the dog for a walk or spend Sadly any time not. outside, really. No, yeah, it's not going to be a good one for Jack to get out no. and play there. He looks like he wants to let all that energy out. I but I mean, all of us do too, I think, right? on this Monday. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the weather is not cooperating. Check out this temperature spread we have across the entire viewing area. Over toward D.C., it's 48 degrees, Chantilly 42, Germantown 41, and then as you go to the west, you run into a wall of cold. Martinsburg, Winchester, 34 degrees apiece, Charlestown 36, Cumberland right at that freezing mark, and within this colder air, that is where we're seeing the highest threat for wintry precipitation that is already ongoing in a number of locations. It's worth looking at this radar picture again here. Look at that steady rain, cold rain we're seeing off to the east. Those temperatures are a bit more on the warm side, but as you go back to the west, all of that is snow right now across western Maryland, the eastern panhandle here. And you see some of this yellow popping up within that snowfall in the blue there. That is likely some banding of that snowfall, heavier snow taking place, if not a little bit of melting that's going on in there for a sleet snow mixture. Either way, it's turning out to be pretty messy in a number of locations, and we are going to continue to see this precipitation for the rest of the day. Now, that rainfall is going to take hold a little bit more to the west as temperatures go back up a bit this afternoon, but there will likely still be snow in those highest elevations as we head toward this evening. All of this precip wraps up tonight, but that damp ground out there with cold temperatures could very easily lead to frost formation, a threat in and of itself with things starting to bloom out there. And then Tuesday is going to be rather windy behind this system, but then we finally will see some really good improvements as we go toward the end of the week and this upcoming weekend. Things are going to be spectacular as we get toward Thursday and Friday. But for right now, like I just said, it's kind of a mess. That cold rain continues here as we go further into the afternoon. Notice how that rain line pushes back to the west a bit more. We see that steady, if not heavy, rainfall taking place as well all the way over to the I-81 corridor, but that mixture of snow, sleet, and rain does not let up across the mountains as we head toward this evening. So be prepared to driving through that rainfall. Take it easy out there with how heavy the rain may be, and also because we'll have the possibility of the sleet and the snow mixing in at times. But this system finally pulls away by midnight tonight, and then outside of a few flakes over the mountains tomorrow morning, it looks like everybody's going to start to clear out and we'll start to quiet things down. Those rainfall totals really haven't changed all that much. They've lightened up a little bit overall, but we're going to get near an inch of total rainfall, especially as you get closer to the I-95 corridor. We'll be able to absorb all of this rain, if you will, with how dry it's been of late. This will be a nice soaking rainfall for a good number of locations. But the other big story is that snow. Now, it's late April, so it's hard to get any of this to really stick to the ground, but the ingredients are coming together that along and west of I-81, we could see a trace to two inches in, say, Martinsburg, over toward Cumberland, Hagerstown. But there is going to be a pocket of possible three to six inches once you really get into those highest elevations of Garrett and western Allegheny counties. So, yeah, we're not quite done. We're not shaking this winter weather just yet. But look at how we go right back up the roller coaster then the rest of this week. Breezy and chilly tomorrow, 60s by Wednesday, and all the way to the upper 70s. By the end of this week into the weekend, it is going to be downright gorgeous this upcoming Saturday and Sunday. So we just got to get through today and tomorrow, and then things are looking up.